Over the past three and a half decades, the city of Santa Clarita has developed a strong reputation as a place where families come to set down roots and their dreams become a reality. My family is another example of this reputation in action and a demonstration of the possibilities that Santa Clarita provides to all of our residents. Our community is built on the bedrock foundation laid by dedicated public servants, including first responders, your city council, and city staff. As many know, we were the first city to adopt a vote of no confidence in District Attorney George Gascon. We did not take this action lightly, but we all agreed that Gascon's directives and ideologies would set the stage for increased crime and decreased justice for victims. 18 months later, crime countywide is at historic levels, with murders from gun violence alone hitting a 15-year high. Locally, we unfortunately have not been immune to the increase in crime since Gascon has taken office. Burglary and grand theft auto have increased by more than 30% through the first five months of this year, compared to the same time frame as last year in Santa Clarita. And aggravated assault is up more than 40% compared to last year. However, in comparing our part one crimes this year to five years ago, I'm proud to highlight that these crimes have been reduced by more than 15%. I'd like to take this moment to recognize the men and women who serve at the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Station for all of their hard work, as well as Captain Justin Diaz for his tremendous leadership during these challenging few years. Oftentimes, public safety is a thankless career, but not here in Santa Clarita, where supporting our law enforcement is of the utmost priority. Our focus on resident safety extends to ensuring that pedestrians, cyclists, and motorists are all protected when traveling through our city. The traffic safety team, consisting of staff members from the city and the sheriff's station, remains hard at work and uses traffic data to make strategic decisions that keep collisions and injuries low in Santa Clarita. As daily traffic volume returns to pre-pandemic numbers this year, we are seeing collision statistics level off while also making progress in key metrics. Compared to 2019, the last year with similar traffic volume, vehicle collisions involving pedestrians were down 27% over the first half of this year. In addition, accidents resulting in a fatal or severe injury are down 25% since 2019, and zero fatalities were reported through June. Since the formation of the traffic safety team in 2016, the collision rate in Santa Clarita is down 31%, and the injury rate is down 20%. The brave men and women of the Los Angeles County Fire Department work tirelessly to protect residents, animals, and property. This past year, with brutal temperatures and high winds, their quick action kept several brush fires from growing and causing untold damage to our city. We cannot begin to adequately express how grateful we are for their partnership here in Santa Clarita. We're also thankful for the officers with the California Highway Patrol, who keep our freeways safe, assist motorists in need, and respond quickly to emergencies. We thank you for all you do to protect our residents in the Santa Clarita Valley. Of course, the city is also thankful for and proud of the countless veterans and families of active duty military personnel who call Santa Clarita home. Each year, we proudly display our hometown heroes banners throughout the city for Memorial Day, the 4th of July, and Veterans Day as a reminder of the sacrifices they make so that we may enjoy our freedoms. Did you know that you've got a friend at City Hall? This year, the city relaunched the You've Got a Friend campaign highlighting all the wonderful work done by the friendly public servants who work every day on behalf of our residents. These friends at City Hall are available to help you access whatever city resource or service you may need. One way the city reminds you that you've got a friend at City Hall is through the Eat Local and Shop Local campaign, which encourages residents to make purchases at local businesses. When you shop and dine locally, the sales tax generated directly funds essential services, such as street maintenance and public transportation, as well as city parks, the Santa Clarita Public Library, and our community centers. Not only does shopping and eating locally keep money in Santa Clarita, but it also creates jobs, reduces our environmental impact by limiting driving, and is an investment in the future of our community. As the most historic neighborhood in Santa Clarita, Old Town New Hall has transformed into a go-to arts and entertainment district that continues to see new additions that add to its vibrance. Some highlights from the past year include the opening of Reyes Winery on Main Street and Heart and Main, an intimate wedding and event venue that is great for any occasion. 
and Newhall Crossings, new locations for McGinn's Pub and Rustic Burger have opened with more dining, spa, and lifestyle options scheduled to join them this year. Another notable accomplishment was the recent completion of the update to the Old Town Newhall Specific Plan, which will build on the recent success in the area and envisions what Old Town Newhall can become over the next 15 years. As the city of Santa Clarita looks toward the next 35 years, the goal remains to put the well-being of our residents and businesses above all. Thank you to everyone in our community for contributing to the high quality of life that we enjoy here in Santa Clarita.